Okay, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a full lip swatch video on the new Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks. These are $5 and they come in 13 shades and they do dry down completely matte. So that's really awesome that they're from the drugstore and they're a good drugstore price and they are matte liquid lipsticks. Some of them say that they're matte and they're really not. So I'm glad that these actually do dry down. So yeah, they come in 13 shades. You will see all of the shades. They have a lot of good nude shades and then they also have some really dark shades. So I'm just going to show you guys. I'll comment on which ones I like or I'll comment if they're patchy or not. But anyway, I'm going to just get ahead. I'm going to swatch these. I'm not going to take too long and I will let you guys know my thoughts as we go. So the first one is called Nudie Patootie. It's really nude. I have no clue who this could be for, but I'm going to use a lip liner. So I'm just going to use, this is Ex-Girlfriend from Urban Decay. It's from the Gwen Stefani. Um, it's auto, it's limited edition, but you can find something similar. So I lined my lips because I feel like this one's going to wash me out really badly. So the applicator is pretty standard. This is what the applicator looks like. So it's really good to like get... The, all the curves of your lips so I kind of like that already and these are cruelty free I forgot to mention that so okay so that's what it looks like it it's like my skin color I'm not really sure who this would be for I don't love the color of it right off the bat I'm gonna let it dry down though okay so it has dried down it feels pretty good it doesn't feel you know too dry or anything like that. I just don't like this color at all, at least for myself. Um, if you are gonna get it, I would suggest using a lip liner that is darker with it, but yeah, it kind of washes me out. Okay. So. Next we have one and it is called Nudist Peach. And it looks kind of pink, but it's also, it looks like it's gonna be more peach coming out than the tube looks like. Okay, so that is a Nudist Peach. Um, not really sure how I feel about this one, but I forgot to tell you guys, as I go along, I will also kind of tell you if I think it's a dupe or not for anything. And right off the bat, this kind of reminds me of, uh, what is it, Dirty Peach or something from uh, Kylie Cosmetics, that peach one. And then the other, the one that I just did before reminds me of Moon from Kylie Cosmetics. So if you already have those, I don't think you need to. Um, but yeah, I think it's really pretty. It's not usually something that I would gravitate towards. I wish I had a little bit darker lip liner to pair with this, but it is pretty. Okay, next up is called Pink Really Hard. This is like a soft baby pink. Okay, so this is a lot pinker than I anticipated it being. Um, I feel like these are pretty deceptive with their packaging. I don't feel like those look the same when you look at it in the tube, so <laughs> that's why these videos are good. So you can kind of see what, what they actually look like. But I don't think it's an ugly color. If you are somebody who loves this bright pink color, you will really like this one. Um, and I don't really feel like it's that patchy either. And they do feel really comfortable, so that's a plus. I haven't really noticed that they're patchy at all or anything like that. Um, I just don't really feel like I'm gonna wear this color either. Okay, next we have Rebel Rose, and I feel like this is going to be the probably the favorite of the bunch. This is like a really classic kind of that dusty rose color. So I'm excited about this one. I, this was the one I saw and I was like, I really wanna try that on. So yeah, let's see what this looks like. Okay, so this one is Rebel Rose. I like this one a lot. This is probably my favorite so far. And I feel like this is a dupe for a lot of those really popular shades. So this one is really good and it's actually not, it's not patchy at all. It's really comfortable to wear. So I really like this one. Next we have Coral Corruption, and I think Coral is a good description of this one. Okay, couple observations about this one. So I found it to be a little bit patchy, and I had to work it, I, well, I had to work with it a little bit, but I do think it's a really pretty shade. It's not something that I would usually gravitate towards, so I did kind of actually end up liking this. Um, but, and another thing too, they dry really fast, so that's good. You don't, like, you're not sitting there and you're like, when is this gonna dry? So that one is Coral Corrupt. Next up we have another one that I think will be probably popular. It's called Give Me Mocha. Definitely like the typical mocha color. It's like a kind of got a brown undertone. All right, so that is Give Me Mocha. I think it's a really pretty color. I did find this one to be a little bit patchy, so 
It kind of took me a while to apply this one, but I still think it's a really pretty color and for the price it's pretty good still. Um, I think this will look really, really good on people with skin tones that are darker than mine. I think it's pretty. It just was a little bit hard to work with in the beginning. So, okay, this next one is called Oh My Dolly, and it is a cool toned hot pink, and I'm really excited for this one, actually. <laughs> it reminds me already of Rio from Anastasia Beverly Hills, so we'll see. Okay, not sure if you guys can see how bright this is, but it is, like, it hurts my eyes to even look at it. But, I don't know, something about it, I really like this one. It's just like really crazy, but I love it. It's, I don't know. I don't know when I'm ever gonna wear it, but I really, really like it, and I thought the formula was really good on that one, so that was a surprise hit for me. Okay, so the next one is called Nice to Fuchsia, and it is a really pretty purple color. It kind of reminds me of, a lot of these remind me of um, like Kat Von D dupes. So this is like a cool purple color, like a cool tone purple. Okay, this is like the worst application ever, but this is nice to fuchsia. So it's not like really for me, but I feel like this will look really pretty on other people. Um, yeah, and I also want to say about these, the, I have done a lot of lip swatch videos. These are one of the hardest to get off. I think the hardest to get off. So that is good. I mean, not good for me, but it is good for you guys if you are eating or drinking or whatever. They don't just crumble away. They're really hard to get off. So that's some good news. Next, we have Berry Recognize. And this one is slightly darker than the last one. It's definitely more berry. Okay, so that was Berry Recognize. This one actually came out a little bit more red. It was kind of like a raspberry, um, but I really like it. It is so pretty for the holidays especially. It's kind of deep, but it's not at the same time. It's not too dark where you're, you look vampy. I really like that one. So that one was Berry Recognize. Okay, so we have a, this is like a really orangey one. Um, it reminds me of Kat Von D Go Go, so. Yeah, I probably won't like this on myself, but it is called Flame of the Game, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, so this is Flame of the Game, total dupe for Kat Von D a go -Go. Um, I don't know where I would ever wear this, but I do know some people that can rock the orange, just not me. <laughs> so I'm going to take this off now. All right, next we have Missy and Fierce. So this is just a classic red. It looks like it's a little bit cool toned. This will be exciting. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, they just kind of smell like chemicals. So <laughs> that's uh, what you have to look forward to. Okay, besides the fact that I completely horribly applied this and it looks way too big on this side, <laughs> um, this is a really pretty color and a really, really nice formula, actually. Um, I really like this one. If you have been looking for a drugstore liquid lipstick that is red, you will really like this. It is perfect for the holidays. I really, really like that one. That one was Missy and Fear. Okay, so we're on our last two, and this one is called Video Vixen. I'm not really sure. These look really similar, but I know that they're a little bit different. Um, so we will see kind of what the difference is. One looks more brown, and then this one looks like it has kind of like a purpley undertone. Like, it, it, I feel like it'll come off more purple, so we'll see. Okay, not totally sure if this is gonna pick up on camera, but you can definitely see in real life that it does have some purple undertones, all that jazz, but I don't know. Uh, this is a little too vampy for me. I kind of look like a gothic Barbie right now, so I'm going to take this off and put on the next. Okay, last one is called Goth Topic, and this one looks really just brown and even darker than the last one. So yeah. Okay, so that's goth topic. Um, <laughs> definitely looks pretty gothic to me. So um, yeah, I am not the biggest fan of that one. It's just not really my preference, but that's okay. If it is yours, then I think you would like it. Except it, I found that one to be a little bit patchy, so I did have to work with it a little bit. Okay. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. My overall kind of review on these is, I really only liked a few colors. I feel like the other ones, yeah, they're a very good price range, but do, <laughs> just before you go and buy them, just be like, do I really need this color? Do I really need to buy this? If you already have something similar, don't go out and buy it. Um, 
I really liked this one. It was called Oh My Dolly. It's the one that I'm wearing right now. Um, but that one's also just kind of like a, I don't know. <laughs> it's a very um, not for everybody color. It's kind of intense. So um, I also liked Rebel Rose. I think that'll be really pretty if you can find it. I got these at Walgreens, so if you can find it, I would grab it. I also really liked the Berry Recognize color. And I liked the red, which was Missy and Fierce. So those are kind of my recommendations of the ones that I tried. Um, and the other ones, I was just kind of like, mm, I don't really want to wear those or I don't really need to. So anyway, <laughs> hopefully that helps you guys in any way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you aren't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.